You're watching The FWAT Show, Messed Up Marvel Movies Special Edition, released on September 12th, 2015. Welcome to FWAT, the show where normally you would get all the news you need to know, and probably some you don't, all in about 10 minutes, but not today. No, today is a special show where I'm going to talk to you about Marvel movies gone wrong. And there have been a few. I'm Rob Steele, and let's get started with The Fantastic Four. Yes, the somewhat new movie. I say somewhat, yeah, I know, it came out a few months ago, coming out on DVD soon. And you know what? I've seen it. Yeah, what can I say? It's not as bad as everyone makes it out to be. But there are issues with it. First off, it's not as campy as the original Fantastic Four movie. And when I say the original, I mean the 1994, it says Roger Corman, I'm thinking Harvey Corman. Fantastic Four movie where Ben Grimm didn't look so much like big rock guy as he looked like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle made out of orange polyurethane. It's not pretty. So what does this mean for the new Fantastic Four movie? No, not the one with Jan Grafood, which is the only proper way to pronounce his name. No, even those movies got a bit campy. This one didn't which I frankly think is rather spectacular that a comic movie didn't actually get comedic. It tried to stay serious, although it had issues. The story moves a lot slower than the Avengers movies, which are considered the pinnacle of everything comic book movie. And that's fine. Fantastic Four was kind of a slower book anyway, more scientific, more thought through. Better character development, I always thought. But that might just be me. The Fantastic Four movie has some issues. Mainly being. One, the Bane bad guy is supposed to be Doctor Doom. Now, this guy is Victor Von Doom early on in the movie. Later on, there's an accident, like there is in most science fiction movies, and it turns him into Doctor Doom. Ooh, no, it doesn't. It turns him into whatever the hell this is. It's not Doctor Doom. And that's a problem. They keep calling him Doctor Doom. It's not Doctor Doom. For those of you who have read the books, what? There's source material? Yes. Yes, there is. And they've kind of ignored, well, the Doctor Doom part. The rest of the Fantastic Four, they did fairly well with, if I'm honest. They didn't shoot him into space. They had a good plot line for it. But the, I think the main issue with this movie is it's just not the Fantastic Four. It's characters with the same powers, with the same names, but they ignored the source material enough so that it's not a Fantastic Four movie. It's a good sci-fi movie, but it's not the Fantastic Four. And that's a problem. But not as big a problem as this. Where the hell are Ben Grimm's pants? And if he's not wearing pants, shouldn't he have a, uh, <clears throat> yeah. One of the other movies that Fox has taken from Marvel and, let's be honest, screwed up, is the X-Men. And I'm going to cover all of them, all at once, just for convenience purposes, even the one that's not out yet. That would be Age of Apocalypse, where some footage has leaked, and I can already tell you, they've screwed it up. How can I tell? The bad guy is Apocalypse, one of the biggest, most awesome bad guys in the history of Marvel Comics. And he looks like this. Really? This looks a lot less like Apocalypse and more like Jeremy Clarkson dipped in purple paint and given some leftover armor from Game of Thrones 
That's not Apocalypse. And this is Fox with a budget. No, we can't do anything big with a budget because that's left to what? People who cosplay like this guy from Comic-Con who got it right. And that's the problem with the X-Men movies. Again, with Fox. Source material? Be damned. We're going to do whatever the hell we want, no matter how annoying it's going to be to people who know what the source material is. Do they think of this? Yes, I'm sure they do. Do they ignore it? Yes. Much in the same way Donald Trump ignores Mexicans. See, that's more typical of the FWAT show. If you're a regular listener, which you should be, and I know it's mostly an audio podcast, something you can take with you in the car on the way to work, on the way to school, wherever you happen to be going. Commercial over. Back to the review. The X-Men movies. Lots of issues with those. I mean, they can't even keep things straight like Cyclops. Cyclops has a younger brother named Havoc. Havoc somehow showed up in the movies 30 years before Cyclops did. And Cyclops doesn't look like he's 50-something years old. How the hell did that happen? Time travel, not a regular thing in the X-Men books. Occasional, like Days of Future Past, the previous X-Men movie, where for some reason Kitty Pride developed the ability to travel through time. The story out of the studio is she can walk through walls, so why not travel through time? Sounds to me more like someone in the studio had a meeting and they said, we need to get this plot point in. Someone get a crowbar and some astroglide. Really? Not the best way you want to do an X-Men movie because it took a previously established storyline, Days of Future Past, which was brilliant the first time around, and they screwed it up. Like I was saying with the Fantastic Four movie, it's good as a movie. As an X-Men movie? No. It doesn't work. Fans know this already. If you're not a fan of the comic book, you probably don't know this and are just going to enjoy the movie, and that is what Fox wants. What I think fans of the books would like, and this is just a thought here, you've got source material. The source material was popular enough to make you make a movie. Use the source material directly and make a movie out of it. Fans will be happy, non-fans will be happy, and you'll still make money. What a concept! I'm going to be back later with more of these little video vignette things on probably movies because normally the show is about politics and strange sh that happens in the world. I'm not going to do videos of that because I'll be honest, I don't have the time or the budget, mainly the budget. If you'd like to hear more from me, go to the website, thefwatshow.com. If you want to contact me, there's buttons for Facebook, facebook.com slash fwat1. There's a button for Twitter, at Real Rob Steele. Hey, look, it's at the bottom of the screen, too. <laughs> at the bottom of the website, there's a little button. It's an envelope. If you click it, it goes to email. And you can send me an email directly and complain to me about, but Rob, I loved the X-Men movies. And you're allowed. You really are. I would just prefer it if they followed source material. It's probably just me. We have seen illusion and reality begin to overlap. The line between them begins to disappear.